Hey everybody, I thought I'd make a real quick video. I haven't done much of anything lately, so I thought I'd show, show a couple things. This is the last one I finished, I don't know, a month or so ago. Uh, I believe it's 1084 high carbon steel. And I've tried that, I think it's Kiranite, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, scales. And it's really easy to work. And it's just cool looking. You can see it has all the lines and it actually have like some depth to the material. It comes out really cool. It's, it's smooth as glass. And I was surprised at how simple it was to to work with. I like that color there. You can see some kind of depth to it. It's pretty neat. But that's the last one I've done. I haven't really done much. Well, that's when I finished. So I'm working on this one, which is... You know, if I got it right, it's kind of like a, was it 18th century French trade knife or the fur trade. But my forge was kind of small. Same old one I've been using, and this is a lot longer knife, you can see, comparatively speaking, to what I've been working with. So it didn't quite fit all the way into the forge, nor did it fit all the way into the ammo can with the oil. So you can see right there. I don't think I got a really good heat treat and I didn't get the colors that I normally like to get that blue and purple when I did the tempering. So I think I'm gonna have to make another forge and anneal this and then reheat treat it and temper it because I'm just not sure that's very strong. I don't want to keep on going and it'd be a weak blade. Um, a friend of mine down in Mississippi sent this to me uh, he made it himself, uh, antler, sinew wrapped, and I forget, he told me abalone something chert, I can't remember, down Mississippi, and he hand naps all that and puts it together, so you can see the flaking there, he puts it together and he sells them, but he also gives them away, and I'm not going to obviously use it in the field, but it's really cool looking. I sent him the first ever Nesmic I made, which was on an earlier video, with the Coca-Cola scales as a thank you, and with a, a sheath on it as well. But those are really cool. I really like those uh, primitive stone blades, like what Indians used to use. Uh, we both do a lot of artifact hunting i thought it was pretty cool he sent that to me but just a quick update and you wouldn't know it but let me scale around here you wouldn't know it but a couple of days ago three days ago we had major ice storm and of course we have no power for the last three days right now i don't know if you can see this or not kind of hard for me to see i'll see outside but this was all covered in ice and we've had no power for three days now, so thought I'd do this. All right, thanks a lot. Apparently it's still recording, but I can't get it to stop, so go figure.